Burr, it is cold, Mr. Fluffy Poodle. It is so cold. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. Military Duck Day. That's right, Military Duck Day. That uh, means military going to go out and hunt ducks today. So the Fluffy Poodle and I are headed out and going to the spot. Let's go. You know, I'm thinking as I'm driving, like, this is nuts. The Fluffy Poodle and I waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning to be on the road by 3 o'clock just to go hunt six ducks. Look, I'm excited. I've been waiting all year for this day. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Let's go, Fluffy Poodle. Let's go. He's back there just sleeping away. Let's go. Fluffy, you doing good, buddy? We got the blinds all set up. I got my blind set up right there. I got the Fluffy Poodle's blind set up right here. Oh yeah, we're doing good. Fluffy, you ready, bud? Yeah, you ready? All right. Oh, it is cold. It is cold this morning. Fluffy, what you looking at, boy? Fluffy. There's a good boy. There you are. Hey, it is cold this morning. I am bundled up. I'm in my duck blind. He's in his duck blind. We just hanging out waiting for the sun to rise. Oh, yeah. It's a good boy, Fluffy. He's watching them raccoons and them deer so they don't come in on us. Oh. Let's stargaze a little bit more until shooting light. Let's go. Oh, I'm happy, Fluffy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Wait, it's that time of year. We're back at them. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's go. So how you doing, dog? I mean, this morning was definitely one hell of a shit show. So yeah, this morning, the Fluffy Poodle and I literally went to our spot, woke up 2 o'clock in the morning, got to our spot by 3 so we can be the first ones there. Walked in at four, got everything set up. We had birds coming in. They were going nuts. We had birds coming in every 30 seconds, like 15 to 20 wood ducks just dropping in every 30 seconds. And then that's when I was like, oh, snap. Oh, it's about to be on. But it was all happening 10 minutes before shooting light. So I had to wait, wait, and wait until it was time to shoot. And when it was time to shoot, I got up out my blind just like that. I raised up my weapon and nothing happened. You want to know why nothing happened? Is because I didn't chamber around. I loaded my weapon, but I didn't chamber it. Fluffy Poodle was like, really, Dad? Really? I wanted them wood ducks. I mean, we had at least, at least 75 to 100 in front of us. And by the time I reloaded, they all flew away. So I was a little disappointed when that happened. But then I started thinking to myself, like, you know, it's okay. Maybe they'll, they might come back. So we waited and waited and waited and no ducks came. So after about 30 minutes, we had ice all over the decoys. So I went out and I had to get the ice off the decoys. But you wouldn't believe what happened. When I was out there, I must have dropped my phone because when I returned, I was trying to find my phone to see what time it was. And I couldn't find it anywhere. That's when the fluffy poodle started to panic. He said, dad, we need to find your phone. So we spent the next two and a half hours trying to find a phone. So we never found the phone after all that searching. We went all the way back to the house, got another phone, went back, started to call it, but it went straight to voicemail. And that's when the fluffy poodle and I recruited my son for the search party, the search party to find this phone. And wouldn't you know it, after about 20 minutes of my son searching, he found it right on top of the ice on the pond. Like, thank goodness. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, we missed all of that film, all that fun stuff, all sorts of craziness, ice all over my bibs, the fluffy poodle looking for raccoons behind me, a deer hunter coming in on us, a whole bunch of craziness. But you want to know something? We're back here in the evening time. Hoping to get ducks on the military day in Kentucky. Let's go. Yo, as I'm laying down here on the blind, you ever think back of that Sesame Street episode where they're like, here, fishy, 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 but instead I'm out here duck cutting, I'm like, here, ducky, ducky, ducky. <laughs> I know you thought that was funny. I know you thought that was funny. 
I see ducks coming in. I see ducks coming in. Man, Fluffy, those ducks didn't want to play. No, they didn't want to play with us today. I was going to send them some steel. That lead-free shot. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. I love moments like this. My dog, me, relaxing out here at the duck hole. Sometimes it's not about the harvest. It's about the experience. If I wouldn't have had all that stuff happen this morning, probably wouldn't even remembered what happened. But I'll tell you one thing. We had one heck of a morning, and it was awesome. We only got about an hour left. Hour left of light. You're doing good, Fluffy. You look like a dang statue right there. You're not even moving, buddy. You're like, stay still. I want a bird. I want a duck. I just want something. <laughs> you see and hear those sandhill cranes? Oh, they're beautiful. They're right there. Yo, there's a whole giant flock over that way. That one must have about 5,000 in it. I don't, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I'm not joking. This is the biggest flock of sand hill cranes I've ever seen. It is huge. Fluffy, you know what that means. We need to call Jay and Devin and tell them that uh, the sand hill cranes are showing up. And once it's time... We're going to get them on some property. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Well, it doesn't look like it, but it's actually sunset. And we're not allowed to shoot no more. It's time to wrap things up. And if you can't tell by now, we didn't get any ducks or geese today during Military Youth Day in Kentucky. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop hunting. We love them ducks and geese. Isn't that right, Fluffy Poodle? Yes, that's right, buddy. This also shows you that not every time we're going to be getting ducks. We're not in the flyway, and we don't have a lot of property to hunt ducks on. So if you know absolutely anybody who would allow the Fluffy Poodle and I to hunt on their property, then please comment down below. Send us a message on Instagram, the underscore Fluffy underscore Poodle. TikTok, the fluffy poodle on everything. And until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish, greenish hair. Awesome. Rig em right dog vest. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you for being awesome, buddy. It's been a heck of a day today. You ready to go home and warm up? I think he's ready. So am I. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.